Hey everyone, it's Remso Martinez from the Remso Republic, and I happen to run into Maya Bowermaster from Turning Point, the Second Amendment Institute. So, we've got kind of this question going on right now. We're here at CPAC, it's the first official day. We got here yesterday and got to see all the fun going on with Sean Haney and uh, Kellyanne Conway. We saw Hanway Gate, if you remember that. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I've noticed one thing. Everyone here looks like they have a account at Brooks Brothers or possibly Dillard's. So, one thing that I have noticed, because this is my first CPAC, oh, yeah, this, is my, this is my very first one. My question is this. I keep seeing people wearing Trump hats in like the oddest fashion possible. And yeah. some guy, like I saw one guy jump in the pool wearing a Trump hat, just Trump hat and boxers. I see people wearing like awesome suits and wearing the Trump hat and it looks kind of weird because they're kind of redneck. It's like a Walmart greeter and a trucker had a child and that's right. the hat. So my question is this, when is it appropriate to actually wear a Trump hat? Not on a job interview. Uh, so I think that um, when you're going to be wearing it in a more formal attire, you know, you see all these guys here wearing um, the Trump hat with like a suit, um, some of them wearing it with the ca like khakis or shorts, which is, first of all, you shouldn't be wearing that to CPAC. Um, but I think in a political environment, it makes more sense. You know, everyone wants to wear their campaign attire. They want to wear their buttons. And I think this is one of the first elections where everyone, like, the big ticket item was a hat. Uh, which is kind of like inappropriate when you're in a formal attire, but considering the circumstances, it's um, it makes uh, sense. Okay, so my question is this. Honestly, I, I think the hat's kind of ugly. It, it takes away from a nice suit. You know, you see these guys in, in really expensive, hundred, you know, hundreds of dollars worth suits, and then they have this like cheap twenty dollar Trump hat on, and I'm like, personally, I think most of the time it's pretty obnoxious. I mean, whether you voted for Trump or not, it's just kind of like you're asking for attention especially so like people like to wear it to trigger liberals like you know just to create a conversation to push the boundaries which makes sense on a college campus and things like that but when you're in an environment with people who are all very like-minded you're just kind of being obnoxious at that point uh, we all a lot, not everyone voted for Trump here but a lot of people did and everyone you know he's coming to speak here and we're all right of center so it's like what exactly you're trying to accomplish here gotcha okay so last question well, actually, no, I'm going to ask one more thing after this, but I'm just curious. Do you own the Trump hat? Okay, so I bought one. Um, like, so I was, in boot, I was in military training when I found out that Trump was running for president because we went to the PX, and I barely saw it on a sliver of, like, they had CNN on, and the headline said, Trump running. And I was like, Trump running for what? And, you know, we were given no information. I go running back, and I was like, oh, my God, Donald Trump is running for president. And people just laughed at me. They're like, that's insane, because they had told us things like Oprah Winfrey was pregnant and Dr. Phil died, like, back in 2015. So we couldn't believe anything. Well, we get out of training, get our phones back, and we're like, oh, my God, he really is running for president. So at first, I heard a few things. I was like, okay, I like him. And then I kept listening to other candidates, and I'm from Texas, so I was so heavily for Ted Cruz for a really long time and then uh, Ted dropped out so I was okay I'm on the Trump train now but then even at the RNC I was like Ted can still get the nomination <laughs> um, but you know I bought one during my phases like at one point I was in a Trump phase like I went back from Ted Cruz to Trump so I bought one and then um, when the whole comment you know grab her by the when that came out I was I felt like I was at a, a crossroads and I didn't know like how to address the situation so I gave my hat away to someone and then I wanted to wear it during like election night and I couldn't find it and Aww. she didn't bring it so now I have no Trump hat. Well we're in a place which is literally swarming with Trump hats so swarming. you might be able to get yes, one. I might. Um, okay big question of the day find me on Twitter at Remso101 should I get a Trump hat while I'm here? Let me know. You can also contact producer Ryan at Liberty Producer. Maya, if people want to keep keep up with you during CPAC and everything else, how can they do so? Um, okay, well, follow me on Twitter at MYAH1997 is my Twitter handle. Um, yeah, you can check me out on Twitter. Uh, I really don't Snapchat enough. I mean, sometimes I do. So if you want to follow me on Snapchat, my name is on this live uh video so it's maya underscore bowermaster without the r on the end because i ran out of characters so add me on snapchat i'll add you back um i posted like a selfie with jesse waters i think there's still one with sean hannity up there on snapchat so you'll see all the cool people i'm running into you know uh, they're just kind of walking around they want to see the speakers too it's really cool perfect good stuff so question of the day should i get a trump hat let me know at remso 101 <laughs> take care guys and keep Bye. up